Try reading the following word. How was that? Slow and complicated? This word refers to a lung disease and is one of the longest words in the English language. Now try reading this. That was easier, wasn't it? But for students with reading difficulties, such as dyslexia, even reading shorter and easier words like table or basketball may feel like reading this. Hmm. Blending letters and their sounds to recognize words is a core reading skill known as decoding, and it is the vital first step in being able to read and understand meaning. Students with dyslexia often decode words incorrectly or very slowly, which has an adverse impact on how well they understand the meaning of what is being read. Hmm. Imagine learning to drive a manual car. At first, most of your attention is focused on coordinating all the different actions, but with practice, it becomes second nature, and you can pay more attention to the road and the surroundings. Similarly, when decoding becomes second nature, understanding the meaning of what is being read can follow effortlessly. This is known as automaticity in reading. Some students with reading difficulties can decode words fluently, but despite this, struggle with understanding their meaning. This is also known as specific reading comprehension difficulties. Brain scans reveal that children with specific reading comprehension difficulties show unique activity in parts of the brain that are responsible for understanding language, and this sort of activity is not seen in typical readers. Finally, some students find it hard to both decode and understand the meaning of text. These students generally have the most severe reading difficulties. This is an area of growing research, but what's clear is that reading is a complex skill, which involves various regions of the brain working together, and this important knowledge can help us develop better ways to support students. Think of reading like an orchestra, in which just like different musical instruments, decoding, vocabulary, reasoning, and using strategies all come together. Research has shown that supporting all these areas at the same time is a powerful way to help students with reading difficulties and that understanding individual needs can help fine-tune a successful strategy to provide individualized support. Research has also found that targeted support can rewire parts of the brain involved in reading, and this is linked to overall improvement in reading skills. Every individual's path to becoming a fluent reader is unique, but the encouraging news is that the right support and teaching strategies can help students make huge improvements in their reading ability. With patience, understanding, and targeted support, all students can successfully navigate the world of reading and tap into their full potential.